What's going on, guys? Welcome to another uh, 3D with Pi Game tutorial. This one's still a pseudo 3D, um, and really everything we're doing in this tutorial video will be uh, 2D. But anyway, uh, moving on. Uh, so in our game loop, uh, actually first let's go ahead and create our square function. So for now, we'll just call it square. Eventually, it's going to be a cube, but we'll say define square. And basically, we just want to know what the start point of that square is, and then also the full size of the square. So later on, as we modify our z-axis, we're going to probably modify the full size. And you'll see what I mean in a moment. But first, let's go ahead and define our nodes. So we'll say node 1 equals something, um, and, then, and so on. So let's go ahead and say node 1 equals, and start point is going to be basically a list that we pass through. So node 1 will be its own list, because we want to be able to modify the locations. So it'll be a list, and it'll be start point uh, zero, and then comma start point one. Easy enough. Now we're going to define uh, the rest of the nodes. So this node is, in theory, the top left node. Um, I'm going to go ahead and copy this real quick. Copy, and then paste three more times. So one, two, three. And then this will be node two, three, and four. And so node one uh, is that top left. Now let's do the top right. So what needs to be modified? We only need to modify x, not y. So how will we modify x? Well, we just add the size to it. So it would be start point zero plus full size. So that is the top right node. Now, and by node I mean the little you know dot. It's the, the you know you've got these vertices. Those are our nodes. So you, those are kind of interchangeable. Um, but basically where all the lines connect. You know, that's a node. So node one, two, uh, three will be, uh, we'll make this the bottom, uh, we'll make this one the bottom left. So X doesn't need to change, but Y, uh, Y needs to be uh, plus the full size. So plus full size. And then node four, the bottom right, basically needs plus full size to both. So we'll do plus full size and plus full size. So those are the nodes. So we've got these nodes. Now what we need to do is, first of all, they're not, they don't even exist and we don't have any lines between them. So let's go ahead and uh, let's draw, we'll draw the lines to and from all the nodes and then we'll also mark the nodes just just because um, eventually you can get rid of the nodes, but it is kind of helpful to mark them sometimes. So anyway, we'll leave them there. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four. And then now we draw the lines. So first let's say, uh, you know, top line. And the top line is going to be uh, pygame.draw.line. Where are we gonna draw it? The game display. Uh, what color do we want that line? White. And then, what two points do we draw that line between? So this is the top line, right? So that's between node one and node two. So node one and node underscore two. And now let's go ahead and uh, copy, paste, paste, paste. So that would be the top line. Now we'll do the bottom line. And the bottom line would be between node three and node four. And then our left line, so the left side line, uh, that's going to be between node 1 and 1, 2, 3. So node 3. And then finally between node uh, 2 and 4 will be the right line. And then we want to go ahead and um, draw our uh, nodes themselves. So we're just going to do a quick pygame.draw.circle. Where do we want to draw that circle? Game display. Uh, what color do we want? It? We're going to make it light green. And I also just noticed that uh, I left my font pretty small. So let me make it a little larger for you guys so you can see it better. Um, OK, there we go. Anyway, um, pygame.draw.circle.game display, light green. And then we want to draw that to node one, or we want to draw node one, and then the width of that node we'll just make five. And then I'm just going to go ahead and copy this, paste, 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 and then node two, three, and four. So that is a you know our square functionality. 
and now we really just need to call square and so to start we'll just need a starting location we'll say that starting location is uh, 300 200 and then we'll say the size equals 200 something like that uh, and then um, basically we'll just towards the bottom here fill the black fill with black and then we'll say square and then location and uh, size we'll say oops where are we yeah location and size so we'll save and run that right row uh, well we're not well first of all we're not actually updating let's do uh, high game dot display dot update there it is okay so now we've got like our starting square and how might we actually interact with this square well what we can do is whoops lost it um, obviously we can go left right okay so we could say um, yeah our location is uh, and then uh, we'll add a current move current move and we'll say that equals zero and then you know you got left right so then we could just say current move equals negative uh, five and then current move equals five and then left or right uh, releasing means current move is zero so these are key down events this is the key up event for left or right key and then of course uh, you would just do size plus equals current move and now we'll be able to actually move um, Oops, what did I do wrong here? Because I think we modified. Uh, oh yeah, we, <laughs> we modified uh, size. What we meant to modify there was location. I'm like, what is happening? Okay, uh, current location plus equals current move. Uh, location. Uh, we should be able to. I'm not sure we'll get away with this one. Well, let's try. Yes. Okay. So here we are, we're modifying the x variable. I was attempting to modify x and y there. Um, so you can modify that, and now we can obviously control this. This is nothing new, really. Um, it's, this is kind of like our tank, where we've defined multiple points, and we're kind of uh, controlling many points at the same time with you know one key press. So that's nothing new. Obviously, we could go up and down as well. Um, but for now, we'll just leave it, leave it like this. Because what we're really truly interested in, obviously, is um, Giving the effect of 3D. So how do you, first of all, how might we give the effect of 3D? Well, kind of like what we did a, a second ago, which was uh, instead of location, doing size plus equals, and then like this. Now, it's not perfect, but this almost gives the appearance that maybe we're getting further away from uh, this square, and now we're getting closer to that square, almost as if we're flying directly towards the top left of our square here. Now, let me go ahead and close this. And uh, that is what we're going to be slowly getting into in the next, next video is how might we write some sort of formula that dictates distance <laughs> from it. Because really, uh, what, what we're trying to do with pseudo 3D is to identify this sort of Z variable, right? So when you have a three-dimensional axis, you've got X, Y, Z. And you're attempting to define Z without Z actually even existing in pseudo 3D, so it's kind of difficult. But anyways, that's what we're going to be getting into in the next video, so stay tuned for that, and thanks for watching.